I really don't think you boys realize the level of cheese that this formation is on is like above RPO. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't say that. It is damn near RPO Peak Zone Bubble. This shit is whack. I could try to explain the play to you, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna jump into a game and show you. I've learned my lesson here on YouTube. I know what works and what doesn't. No one wants to hear me talk about a bunch of bullshit. Correct! It's an elite playbook, so it's actually gonna cost you a decent amount of coins. It's gonna cost me 40k to run this shit. I think it's called Heisman Option. My team is insanely good. It utilizes your quarterback, your backup quarterback, and your starting halfback. My X factors are Michael Vick, Barry Sanders, and Lamar Jackson. Nobody else on my team will likely be getting reps at all unless I'm getting stonewalled so hard that I have to audible to a pass, but I will stay in the formation the whole time. And I know I said you probably don't want to hear a bunch of talking, but you have to hear this. I'm only gonna mention this on two videos, this video and uh, Wheel of Super Bowl. But holy shit, boys. I wanna thank you guys so much for putting me in a position where Tyreek Hill DM'd me and asked me to play in his celebrity basketball game. So he does this uh, celebrity basketball game which raises money for at-risk youth. Uh, it's in Kansas City, Missouri. It's actually so dope. I'm so happy that he reached out. I'm so blessed that I'm in the position. I was like, smiling for like 10 minutes after I saw the DM, which was so great. I want to thank you guys so much. It's May 15th. It starts at 7 p.m., goes to 9 p.m. The tickets are already sold out, which is actually a huge bummer. But go anyway, if you can. If you're relatively in that area, I promise I will go out of my way as much as I can to meet you guys, say hello, take pictures. And if there's some way you could still watch the game, that would be great. I don't exactly think I'm going to get a lot of minutes or be nearly as athletic as half of these people, but I will say... I'm pretty goddamn good at basketball. I like to think. Also, support for my channel is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is the company which is the best in below the belt men's grooming. And yes, I am talking about your cock and balls. I wish somebody had talked to me about this when I was 14. I was 14, my first high school dance. I went to shape my balls completely uneducated and it really didn't go well. That's all I'm gonna say about it. This puppy right here is the solution to your problems. So Manscaped sent me the perfect package 3.0. It has ball toner and ball deodorant. I am dead serious. And the most important piece of this package, their most advanced trimmer yet, this is the Lawnmower 3.0. This thing will save your life. This bad boy has a cutting edge ceramic blade that is going to stop you from nicking your balls. It even has a little LED flashlight so you can see what you're doing. Obviously you're gonna be shaving your balls so it looks better, right? The absolute worst thing you can do is cut it. You can ruin like literally the next week of your life if you don't do this properly, especially if you have a big date or prom or anything big coming up. You need to do this right. Don't mess around. Get the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. I couldn't feel more strongly about this, boys. Of course, I have a code for you that's gonna get you a discount. You'll get 20% off and free shipping if you use my code MMG20 at manscaped.com. Again, that's code MMG20. It's 20% off and free shipping. That's all it takes. Also, if you get the perfect Perfect package 3.0, the same thing that I got, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. Every three months, they're gonna send you a replacement trimmer for your lawnmower, which is really clutch to keep it clean. You also get the awesome bag and a pair of Manscaped boxer briefs. Manscaped, thank you for sponsoring. Guys, invest in a lawnmower and do this right for the rest of your life. I've got a link for you in the top description. As always, you can check it out right there. Enjoy the rest of the video. I know that's a lot of rambling. Let me get into this video. I promise you the next nine plus minutes will be just straight up content, okay? So enjoy it. So it turns out you can actually run this with two halfbacks and one quarterback, which is probably better, but I think it's a lot funnier to run it with two quarterbacks and one halfback, even though they're gonna fumble a lot more than I would like. All right, boys, here we go. We're playing against Baseball 7806. You're in the wrong sport, you dumbass. Oh yeah, by the way, Lavender Corduroy Button Up from Urban. W or L, let me know. I might just let him score. You know what? Let's just send a fat blitz. Let's let him score. Just throw it. Just throw it to anybody, bro. You're a bomb. We're running gauge eight every single time. I'm blitzing Kevin Byer. Oh my God! One safety deep right now. I'm blitzing the whole squad. Just me on Dick Lane. He does get the pass off. I could probably catch him. No! Oh, I actually can't catch him. He's too fast. All right, that's fine. This is what we wanted. I get to try my play. All right, we finally get to use it. So this is the new playbook. And what do you know? It's the first thing that I'm looking at. It's Heisman. <laughs> Look, okay, so this is it. I got Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry. So the first read is I could hand off to Derrick Henry at the left side. If not, Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson run to the right side, and Lamar Jackson becomes a pitch read, okay? So... 
Money? Money's throw me a block? No, he doesn't throw me the block, but we got the spin. We got one yard, but just trust me, this shit's gonna be nuts. We're gonna do the exact same thing. The pitch is nope. there. I don't know if that pitch would have been there if I had gotten it off. I kind of messed that up. I'm gonna get this pitch off to Lamar. It's gonna be beautiful. Got it. Got it. Got the pitch. Now it's just me and Palomalu. No. Great user play, bro. That was so good. Fourth and seven. I'm going for it with Heisman option. This could be us. No. So back to Ooh, got the pitch Ooh. off. Got lit up. I think I picked it up, but I, I kind of lost it anyway. Darn. Well, our first trial of it was not very successful. Bear with me. We're going to make this work. He's going with another pass. I got this corner route right here. Wow. And he still threw it. Can I get up and run? I can. Out to the four. Let's get back into Heisman option. I'm going to give it to Derrick Henry just to keep him on his toes. I'm not going to predetermine my QBs anymore. If Derrick Henry's there, he's getting the ball. All right, you're not getting it there. We got the pitch off. That might not have been the move. Damn, I suck at this right now. Let's just keep this alive. All right, we're going to go Derrick Henry to the outside. So much room. That's probably the best option almost every time, isn't it? Same shit. First and 10. Looking, looking, looking. Money. Michael Vick is so slow. Why is he so slow? Why isn't he getting out there running? Do I need to have a skate artist on him or something? He's just walking that shit. Okay. Okay, yes. I'm gonna give the pitch early so I get a block. Michael Vick didn't block anybody, and I spun into Narnia. I'm rusty. I'm gonna get this, though. I don't care how rusty I am. Fourth and ten. We're going to Henry. Can't even get close. Second and 10, he's gonna go with a halfback draw and get absolutely nothing. Yeah, defense is locking the hell up right now. I gotta, re I gotta breathe, man. I gotta breathe. This is such a cool cheese play and I'm really struggling with it right now. Oh my God, that's a kick. Dude, that might be my first block kick this year and that was a field goal. <laughs> Dude, what? We're over, I got the pitch off, and I got smacked in the fucking face for it. I hate this play. I'm gonna go with something totally different. We're going Lamar, Barry, Rob Gronkowski. We're switching it up because we are struggling, all right? Not going to Gronk. It's staying in Lamar's hands. Why is he so slow though? Why do you automatically, it makes like my QB read slow. Look at him walking like he's broke his fucking hip. Come on. We're just pitching to Barry Sanders and praying for the best. Good, good. Got the pitch. I fucking hate this game. I hate it. So given the fact that we suck at running Heisman option, but there are other fun plays out of the Heisman formation, there's three. So I have three plays that I could potentially run this with. We're gonna put Chris Johnson in. We're gonna start with shovel option. I can throw this back into Barry Sanders with LB or forward to Chris Johnson with RB. So I'm gonna try and throw it to Barry. Interesting. I know it didn't work, but I'm, I'm all I'm doing right now is learning, okay? All right, so this is gonna go Chris Johnson. Yes, sir, got all this room wiggled. Absolutely! Finally! Putting some points on the board. Come on, you can't catch that. No way. You're not catching Chris Johnson. <laughs> we have points on the board finally. I'm gonna run shovel option for the two point. Let's see if we can get this forward to Chris Johnson. Okay, RB, uh -huh. right? No, no, no! Wrong button! Shit! I'm not proud. I'm not proud of what's happening here, okay? Now there is a pass play out of this, but I don't want to try it out yet. I want to stick to doing what I'm doing. All right, so this is shovel option. So RB puts it forward to Chris Johnson's hands and this dude is fast. <laughs> no X Factor spin, still gets the job done. All right, does he bite? Yes, it's just these two out to Barry. Perfect execute. Holy Jesus. Perfect execution, I get three yards and smacked in the fucking face. We ran that really well though. Third and five, I might just hand off Chris Johnson for that first down. Yes, sir. Great blocking on the edge. That's a first. Michael Vick is now in for the pitch key and we got Chris Johnson. Let's see, does he stay on Chris Johnson? Yes. Come on, bite, bite, let's go. He bit. Fitzpatrick is up there, got a spin. Don't fumble. Let's go. Perfect execution of the Heisman option right there. Look at that ball in his hand too. Yo, his hand's fucking busted. Did you see that? All right, we're finally getting it, dude. After running this shit so much, we're gonna hang it. First and goal, I got his user to bite. 
That's Derrick Henry in for a touchdown. Damn, this is nasty. I apologize for how long it took me to adjust to that, but mixing and matching those, plus there's a pass play out of it. I have not even attempted the pass play yet. Because what he could do is run commit the whole squad. And if I throw that pass out there, he would be screwed. I'm just gonna go with the man blitz. The man blitz is kind of tearing him up right now. Oh, no way he made that throw. Deshaun Watson with an absolute dot rolling to his left. All right, so he's going to block his halfback. So I'm just going to blitz on the halfback. All good. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. Perfect. Luke Keekly gets to him. Third and 19. He motions one out. And whoa, he got insta-sacked by Lawrence Taylor. Heisman option, dude. This honestly kind of worked the best when I had Michael Vick in, but whatever. All right, so there's the read. Bite, bite, bite. Got it off the berry. Shut up. Second and nine. We're going to go Chris Johnson here to the edge. Yes, sir. Oh, wiggle. Dude, you can wiggle with Chris Johnson when he doesn't. You don't even have an X factor. All right. Got the read. Got the pitch. It's in Barry Sanders' hands. I got a Palomalu to beat. See ya. See ya. Oh, damn it. I did it to Palomalu, but I couldn't do this. All right. So that's LB. That's RB. He's so open. Oh, my God. That was God tier. Literally got... No, he caught me. Did you see that fucking shitty little duck pass? That was so sick. This is one of the coolest things I have found in Madden in a while. We go back to Heisman option. I think I'm going to predetermine Chris Johnson here because this is honest to God a really good read just to take. Yeah. Come on. Yes, sir. <laughs> The no X Factor spin like throws me off, but I think it's throwing him off too. Cause it's so damn slow that it kind of works. Okay, he bit, he bit, he bit. Got it off to Barry. Got to juke out his Palomalu. Oh, it's a double spin. Double spin for the touchdown. That was gnarly. All right, I'm going shovel option for the two point. All right, so I got to take a look at my buttons. RB, is he there? Oh, I need a little more speed. 19 to 10, it's a healthy lead. I haven't been able to get my two point conversions, but I have been having a blast. So you can't take that away from me. All right, I'm hoping I can get the ball one more time because I feel like I'm pretty elite at running this formation now. So I want one more chance with it. I know what he's trying to do here. That should be a pick. He's gonna throw half back. I knew he was gonna throw half back too. I just didn't do it properly. All right, second and 10. I'm sending my big boys. Khalil Mack and Lawrence Taylor get to the QB for me. I think he's gonna look for a corner route back in the end zone here. He loves his corner routes. Okay. I see it. Yes, I see it. Yes, I see it. Sacked by DeForest Buckner. Third and 19. There's no way. He's not going to be able to get in the end zone now. I know there's a corner route coming. An out route here and he's sacked again. All right. So 1913, does he onside kick? I'm going to onside recover. Yeah, he's going to onside kick. We're going to have to ice this game with the Heisman formation here. Come on, baby. Wait, did I get it? Holy shit. All right, we're going to take this one to the edge. His user keeps biting on the Chris Johnson now, so let him bite. Here we go. Now you got to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Oh, Wait. Oh, my God. Wait, this is really bad. Holy shit, he has the ball. Uh-oh, boys. I'm going to try. I'm going I'm going for the sack here. I got a bad feeling about this. Whoa. Where's the defense? What happened? That was main coverage. Why did he come off of him? Oh my God, I'm losing. Heisman formation has to take us to field goal range with a minute eight and three timeouts. This is actually legendary. Let's get a good kick return to start this drive out, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Positive two yards. Sure. Got to keep it out of Lamar's hands so I don't fumble. All right, let's see what's there. It's back. Yes, sir. Three yards. Clock's ticking. We got to get up there. We got to get up there and make something happen. Second and nine. Can't start getting weird. Chris Johnson, yes, to the edge, yes. We're really doing third and inches right now. Okay, fine. I'll play by the rules. Yes, sir. Bite, bite. No, Barry, yes! Oh my God! What happened? Wait, who is this? Why is he so, he was so slow. I think that's field goal range. I'm on the other 37. That's field goal range. It's gotta be. All right, Michael Vick is in. It's first and 10. I believe I'm in field goal range. We're just gonna hand this one off. Ooh! Chris Johnson weaving. He calls his first time out. I think I just won the game. As long as we don't fumble, I just won the game because I can hand this off, chew this clock, call a timeout and kick it. Or if I have a huge, huge cock and balls, I can try and get the touchdown. I'm gonna run one more play to go for the touchdown because that's so much cooler than kicking the field goal. Significantly cooler. Got it, he bit, yes, wait, oh! 
Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. That is literally a stupid, like a significantly stupider decision than just taking the field goal because now he actually has a chance. But that spin was dank as hell. And that needed to happen for the two point. No, the pitch. Oh, it, I was spamming it. I couldn't even get it off. All right, we're playing everyone in pass pro other than my blitzing big boys. Everyone's played deep. We all know it's a pass. He's got nothing. No way. Absolutely. What are you doing? You are so lucky that the clock is out. What are you doing? <laughs> this was an awesome game. So Lamar Jackson had negative 24 rushing yards. Chris Johnson had 127, Barry had 83. Derrick Henry at 33, Michael Vick at 35. All right, dude, if they have the highlight on that spin, that was just, I, I'm telling you boys, I say this a lot. They absolutely buffed the spin move. They buffed the shit out of it. This is the one where Barry was running really weirdly. Doesn't that run pattern look weird? But right here, as soon as he made that animation to dive, I should have clicked B. If I click spin right here, it's like spin inside, that's a touchdown. And then this run, I made the perfect stop and go on his user Palamalu. Like could not ran that better. But right here, I should have stayed with the hard cut on Devontae Adams. I wiggled him right here. Keep it vertical, Papa Meeks. All right, boys, that's gonna conclude this video. Again, if you wanna do it, you have to get the alternate Ravens offense. It's like the elite one on the auction house. I don't know why. But that was an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was so much fun. I'll see you boys in the next one. Thanks so much as always. Peace out.